Members of the Missouri House hit the ground running as they wrapped up work on the first full week of the 2012 legislative session. The Missouri House welcomed four new members to the body. The new members were sworn in during a ceremony on the House floor. For one new lawmaker, her goal is to take care of the people who sent her to Jefferson City. I'm here to represent my constituents and speak up and speak out on the issues that they care about. And I feel like going door to door during my election, I heard about people's concerns. And those are things I'm going to speak up on here. McCurry is the only registered independent in the House. With the new members added to the ranks, the House now has a full roster of lawmakers. The House Budget Committee approved a constitutional amendment limiting the growth of state government. House Joint Resolution 43 limits the growth of the general revenue portion of the state's operating budget. The sponsor of the resolution claims it is intended to limit government spending. H.R. 43 um, is, a, is a resolution that really tries to accomplish the goal of of uh, leveling off our sp expenditures, making it a more stable environment, uh, and and making sure that we uh, try to reduce the boom and bust years that we have. The committee approved the resolution by a vote of 20 to 9. If approved by the General Assembly, the legislation still needs to be approved by the voters before becoming law. Members and several staff of the Missouri House took a moment on Thursday to create a time capsule for future lawmakers and staff. Lawmakers and several staff members placed several current day items into a time capsule attached to the House dais. House officials plan to keep the capsule sealed until 2050. Looking forward, Tuesday, January 17th marks the governor's annual State of the State Address. During the governor's primetime speech, he will announce his legislative agenda as well as his budget priorities for the upcoming legislative session. With Missouri's gloomy budget forecast, several lawmakers are anxious to hear the governor's plans for the state's 2013 operating budget. I'm interested to hear on, on how we're going to make sure that we protect the programs that work for the citizens that need them the most. Because in hard times, everybody hurts, but the people that every year is a hard time really feel the pinch. And I think that's what we need to make sure that we're protecting. Governor Jay Nixon will deliver his primetime speech January 17th from the House Chamber. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Jonathan Lorenz.